like to do a video very quickly here to warn people that heat their homes with home heating oil. Um, a lot of people are not aware of what's going on. People don't keep up with financial things, and I've seen people and they say, I really don't know what's going on. Boy, oil sure is expensive, and they don't really understand what's going on here. Um, mainstream media is reporting that oil prices are going to go up, and which means gas prices, home heating oil, the whole thing. Here's CNBC. Um, they're talking about it. I'm not going to play the videos here, but the, they're talking about it on the verge of a historic U.S. oil crisis. Uh, here's BNN Blue, Bloomberg. Again, they're showing the price of oil going up, and it says we are in the early innings for rising oil prices. Prices. Uh, this guy here, um, right there, he's saying about another guy from the industry there. Uh, here you have Fox Business, and they're saying about the price of crude oil is going up, and um, Brent and crude there is going way up. Um, again, that's going to lead to very high prices. Um, this is Maine. Dot gov. This is where I live, live in northern Maine. And you can see here, this is May 31st. We are June 6th right now. And they're saying the heating oil average is right there. Heating oil high is right there. So we're talking almost $7 a gallon for it. Now, if you have a 275 gallon tank in your home, that's pretty crazy. Um, and you say, what's the solution? Well, interesting. Down here, the cheapest one is uh, actually doing firewood. So, done a video or two on that. But again, not so good. Here you have trading economics. You can see how, um, in the last year, how much oil has gone up. Okay, so heating oil, excuse me. And heating oil, by the way, is just diesel that's dyed red, essentially, is what that is. Um, what states use the most heating oil? New Hampshire, Maine, Rhode Island, Vermont, and Connecticut. So New England states there, um, we use almost all of the home heating oil here in the Northeast. And I just wanted to warn people out there, and you need to think about some of these things. And you say, well, you know, we'll just make up with it in other areas and things. You know, yes, it's expensive for the home heating oil, but you know, we'll try to save money some other place. Well, something else to think about. Here you have this um, just a number of days ago. Jamie Dimon, this guy here, the the CEO of uh, J.P. Morgan and Chase. And um, listen to what he says here about the economy. I'll play this real quick. It's a hurricane. It's we, right now. It's kind of sunny. Things are doing fine. You know, everyone thinks the the Fed can handle this. That hurricane is right out there down the road coming our way. We just don't know if it's a minor one or Superstorm Sandy or uh, yeah, Sandy or, or uh, Andrew or something like that. And it's, you, you better brace yourself. Okay. You better brace yourself. So the economy is not getting better. And the cost of home heating oil, um, again, I've been hearing this from people and they say, uh, you know, it's just going to keep going up and up. And what I'm seeing is there's people that are still holding on to this thing of they're keeping the prices way up with real estate. And it just, it irritates me so much because it's, this whole thing was just a scam. This whole thing, the BlackRock investments, they, they were other types of hedge funds that were purchasing large uh, homes, Zillow got in on the thing of purchasing homes. They were scamming in the whole thing, trying to drive the prices up. There was no real true demand for homes. There was a little bit during the pandemic thing, but it was people moving and stuff out of state. But, the, you know, people getting more than asking price for their homes, and now everybody thinks that they are, their house is worth all kinds of money. Here's my piece of advice to you. If you're out there and you heat, you're up here in New England, and you heat with home heating oil, I would suggest, and that's your only source of heat, Either you need to get a wood stove and get plenty of firewood, and now's the time to do it. You're actually a little bit late if you want to get firewood. You either need to do that, or you need to get rid of your house as quickly as you can. And I'm saying sell it for just above tax assessed value or whatever else. If you're Hopefully you're not in real bad debt with it. But I'm giving you some warning here that you're just not going to get from most people. right? Um, it's very serious. 
it is a major thing that's coming there. It's saying it on mainstream media. I'm not a big fan of mainstream media, but I can see the handwriting on the wall here. I mean, gas is at an all-time high now. It's just regular gasoline, and diesel is even worse. So um, rationing, I believe, is coming. Um, I know a lot of people last year had a very hard time making it through the winter. It's going to be 10 times worse this winter. So just wanted to put that out there to warn people. Um, I am a preacher. I teach the Bible, but I see some things like this, and I, I think I really should warn people in the area here um, about this. It is a it is an economic hurricane that's coming. Like the president of the biggest bank in America, um, or CEO, whatever you want to call him, uh, he's warning about it. So you better wake up before it's too late. I think a lot of people are going to be stuck with homes that are just not worth anything, and you'll have to probably replace the whole heat system. Um, and I'll say this yet uh, about the whole thing of heating, and that is. The lifeblood of America back in the 1800s was coal. All the freight lines and everything, the steam trains and everything else, um, they were all running off of coal. Then it switched over to diesel for the 20th century. We still use diesel. There's people still use coal to heat their homes. I get it. But it's going to be phased out for electric. Okay. I believe what's going to happen is I believe that the electric cost, right now people think, well, it's too expensive to heat with electric. Not after you see the cost of home heating oil coming up. Uh, home heating oil is going to be so expensive this coming winter that people are going to think that electric heat is cheap because that's part of the whole thing that's coming here. This green agenda and whatever else, net zero and World Economic Forum and everything else, Agenda 2030. That's what's going on here. So don't think, well, eventually we can vote the right people in and they'll come you know, bring oil prices back down. No, no, not back down to what they once were. So I uh, just wanted to put that little quick video out there to warn people about it, about this home heating oil, you know, catastrophe that's coming this, this winter coming up. So that is going to be it. Thank you for watching.